Hey guys, it's Kyla. Whenever I'm filming this, I just want to let you guys know that I've already read this book, but there are going to be a lot of spoilers in here. If you have not read the book, then don't watch this video, but if you have or if you haven't read the book and you just don't care if there are spoilers, continue reading. Continue reading, continue watching. Hey guys, it's Kyla. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a reading vlog. Obviously, you guys saw the title. I'm going to be reading Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. This is my second Colleen Hoover book. I've already read It Ends With Us by her, and it is a five-star read for me. But literally, everybody's obsessed with Ugly Love. Like, I see a bunch of these on people's, like, five-star list, and it's Brother's Best Friend, which is my favorite trope in the entire world. I'm really excited. I heard this book makes you cry. I've heard this book makes you feel things. I have a receipt in here. Okay, I'm so excited. Yeah, this is gonna be a reading vlog. I'm not sure exactly like how I should do this. I guess just update you guys every so often. But I feel myself kind of getting into a reading slump because I really, really, really want to read Twisted Love by Anna Huang again. But I'm waiting for my physical copy of the books to come in. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna read this book. I'm not ready to cry. If I okay, if I'm expecting to cry, I don't know if I'm actually gonna cry because I didn't cry whenever I read it ends with us and everybody said that they cried during that. I almost cried. But I didn't. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go read for a little bit. So I'm not even that far into it. I'm on page 46. I'm like in the middle of a chapter, but I've already tabbed two parts. One where it's like that whole entire like monologue about Rachel and then, cause I thought that was just like, like, I don't know. I thought that was just so sweet. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then I also tabbed the part where he's like, go to my apartment and study. And she's like, I'm gonna do it, but only because like, I kind of want to like look around in your apartment, but she doesn't tell him that. So yeah, I like it so far. I'm just excited he's obviously like very secretive and everything and she's just kind of like she does that she doesn't take his crap at all and i love that but yeah i'm gonna finish up this chapter and yeah i don't know <laughs> i'm having honestly a great time colleen hoover books are so easy to read and get me out of a reading slump so fast so guys i think i'm already obsessed not even 100 pages in and i'm already obsessed do you see this not even 100 pages in the scene where they're like in the car driving to her parents house for thanksgiving with her brother and everything like oh my gosh and then he smiles at her and then what was the other one which one did i just tab oh this quote and that's how it is when a person develops an attraction towards someone he's nowhere then suddenly he's everywhere whether you want him to be or not literally that quote guys Guys. Guys. And also, I don't know if I'm supposed to be, like, falling in love with, like, him and Rachel as well from six years ago and everything. But I am. Because it's, like, their parents are together. His dad, like, cheated on his mom with this- with Rachel's mom. And I'm like, ew, I hate your dad. But Rachel and Miles, though? It's kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. So I don't know if I should be liking her or not, but I like, but I like them. I like how he's so in love with her. Maybe that's why he is the way he is now. Because he was so in love with her, something happened between them, and now he's like, no, no woman. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I just finished up chapter nine. Whenever they're like at her parents' house and they make out in the kitchen, and her dad like walks in and stuff. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. And then it's that line where it's like, I can only think of two rules: don't ask about my past and never expect a future. Like she's nodding, but like in her head, she's like, I don't want to do this. At the same time, like I do. Oh my god literally what is this i don't know but the same as her i'm afraid to see how this ends because who knows i don't know i love this book <laughs> i don't know when the last time i checked in is but i've been sitting here for two hours reading this book and i'm already halfway through with it so i just kind of want to share my opinions oh okay i don't remember when the last time i checked in was i think it was like chapter 11 i don't know they are back to like their apartment stuff and they've just been you know hanging out 
all the good things. He decorated his freaking apartment because she said something about it. And he bought a blanket for like this homeless man while she was like looking, like, like she was looking at this homeless man whenever they were walking to the furniture store or wherever they went. And he like bought a blanket for the homeless man, but she didn't realize like what he was doing until after. And he did it like out of himself, not just because she was looking at him. And he freaking decorated his apartment for her and all this other stuff. And then they go out because Miles got captain or like airline or whatever. Like they go out with her brother brother and their other friend she's obviously like in love with this man at this point you know what i mean and then cap the guy in the elevator says love isn't always pretty tate sometimes you spend all your time hoping it'll eventually be something different something better then before you know it you're back to square one and you lost your heart somewhere along the way no words so good and then at the part where it's like the six years earlier from Miles' perspective, whenever him and Rachel end up like skipping school to go to the beach, he's like, you know, I don't believe in, like after my mom died, I don't believe in God. I don't think God is capable of making someone go through something so ugly. And then he says, but then I met you every single day since then. I wonder how someone could be so beautiful if there wasn't a God. I've wondered how someone could make me so incredibly happy if God didn't exist. And then I realized just now, that God gives us the ugly ugliness so we don't take the beautiful things in life for granted. And then she goes, Miles, like she's literally saying like, I think I'm pregnant and I'm like, I'm halfway through, by the way. I've read this much and I have this much to go. I'm literally gonna finish this book tonight. I'm gonna finish it in one sitting. I love this book, but I'm gonna continue reading. Also, if you're wondering what I've been using to tap, it's these little like post-it things. I got them off my Amazon, but they have some like at Target and everything. These only come with a hundred. I should have gotten like a pack of like a lot of them, so. I only came on here to say that Miles is his father. Where's where's the boy? Where where is he? Anyway, that's all I came to say. What? I'm so sad. <laughs> Their baby just like died. He just died and she hates it. What? In shock. That is what I am. In shock. So it is the next day and I finished Ugly Love last night. I read it pretty much in one sitting. It took me three hours to read. I just wanna go over this book. It destroyed me. As you can see, I tabbed a pretty decent amount. This is like the first book that I've really tabbed. So I just kind of tabbed like the parts that I wanted to like flip back to and read if I wanted. And I also highlighted a lot in here. Honestly, I think that there was just a lot of moments I really loved about this book. Now let's talk about the storyline and the book in general. It's just like so raw and real like I feel like I don't know I just feel like this is just like so sad but it's also so beautiful I will say Miles like Miles was just back and forth so much and it pissed me off he just kept on giving mixed signals and then he was like I'm not giving you mixed signals like shut up one moment you're telling her i really love your smile tate and then the next he's like don't expect anything out of this like i don't like you like that and it's just it's so obvious that he does but it's like he just doesn't want to feel that and like right i don't want to say like rightfully so because that's not true but like he does have a reason and the whole entire reason is that like last time he loved a girl he had a child with her and then that child ended up dying so he doesn't want to love again and like fall for someone again which like is understandable because that is something just so so sad it's just like like bro you gotta give yourself like another chance and i'm really glad that he did end up going to rachel and talking to her i'm glad that we got rachel's point of view from that as well just because you know like she doesn't feel any like resentment towards him anymore and she genuinely like she just wants the best for him now and i'm glad that she's happy and everything and i don't know i just think it's really beautiful how she was like like sometimes you do have to just move on and you have to love someone and i love how miles in the end did redeem himself for tate and like he literally he changed not only for himself to like get better but he changed for tate i just think it's really beautiful that like he went out and like changed for her you know i don't know i just really loved it i thought it was really sweet and like cap i think honestly i love tate and miles don't don't get me wrong but cap was my favorite he was my favorite character out of the whole entire book i don't care what you have to say i love him he's great he's fantastic and just like how miles brought him on his plane like for cap they named their child after him too oh my gosh 
<laughs> it was just so good. It was so good. But I really love how like Tate really took like no crap from him. Like, okay, she did. Let's not lie to ourselves. She took some crap. She was like, she she genuinely like took from the start and you could tell. And she just wanted some kind of connection to him. But that's why like she stayed with him for so long. But it's just the fact that like in the end, he ended up changing for her and getting her back. And what she realized like, oh my gosh, like I don't know who I am anymore. She kind of like stepped away. This book is just so beautiful. Beautiful. But like even though this is like kind of like a brother's best friend It's also a second chance romance for miles at the same time Which I thought was just really really beautiful and I absolutely love this book and if you have not read it yet go read it It's great but yeah, that is my thoughts on this book. That was my reading vlog. Please let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos. And if you do, comment, like, let me know. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.